Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Just Kick the Dance with Avon Lady, and today we're doing the final results video for our Farm RX trial size kit. I've been using this for about three and a half weeks. I didn't miss a couple of days uh, because I got lazy in the morning and I just got doing some other stuff and I just, yeah. But overall, it, if I take away those days, it probably would have turned out to be about three weeks. And what I ended up doing was I used a, after washing my face, I used a toner day and night. Uh, and then also I would use the Bacuccio Serum, Bacuccio Eye Cream. And then if it was the morning, I'd use the Farmer X, the cooling gel. And then in the evening, I would use the Farmer X, the multivitamin moisturizer. And so overall, over the last three weeks, this is what I noticed. I am in love with the Bacuccio Serum. In love with the Bacuccio Serum. The reason why I love it so much is because that it didn't create any photosensitivity, which is really important if you want to use something that's like retinol or retinol alternative. So because it is springtime now, Ginevra actually just had a week off from school, so we spent a lot of time, almost every single day, weather permitting, outside, bicycling, gardening, running around and all that stuff. So the fact that I don't have to worry about, you know, my skin being extra sensitive to sunlight, definite bonus. For results wise, okay, you'll see that I did end up getting a couple of breakouts here and that, I'm not sure if that's a pimple or if a mosquito bite gone wrong because <laughs> I came out right after I was outside near dusk and it was actually a lot bigger like this for a few days and now it kind of went to here so i don't know if that's actually a pimple or a mosquito bite so we're gonna think of it as a mosquito bite for now Meh. um but you did i did end up getting a, an extra pimple here after about two weeks of use this literally just popped up like 10 minutes ago i think i'm having a allergic reaction to just my breakfast yeah i have a lot of food allergies so that could be it what i did notice what about the line is that the cooling gel, it, it's called a cooling gel because it has like aloe in it. And it, when I put it on, you do feel this like, this kind of like evaporation type of a sensation on your face. I think it'd be really nice, especially after sun. Um, but that doesn't last like all day or anything. And I don't know if I would actually want it to last all day, to be honest with you. It does, but when you apply it, I do feel a slight cooling sensation but it's not like, brr, I'm freezing cold on my face. If you want something for like after, like true after sun care for like, let's say your shoulders or anything like that, um, probably something along the lines of the aloe gel would be more beneficial to you. But for a day gel cream, if you do like the gel type of consistency, this is a really beautiful product. Over time, I did find a, there, there is a very, very, very faint light scent. I think maybe my sinuses cleared up a little bit more since the first impressions video. And I do notice a very delicate scent. I did talk to some people and they did find that there was a little bit more of a scent to it than I could detect. But again, I have scent. Um, I have a weird thing going on with my nose, guys. Just... Yeah. In regards to the night cream, the Super Greens Multivitamin Moisturizing Cream, this is beautiful. Like, I mean, you can see that I'm almost on the entire set, set for everything, guys. But this is really, really nice. Super moisturizing. I really loved the consistency of it. It's not as thick as Mission Lux. However, I did find that the results quite similar to what I got out of Mission Lux. So it all depends on what you're looking for. I might switch over to this instead of Mission Lux. Partially also because of budgetary constraints. Thank you. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But it is a really beautiful product. The Bakucho eye cream, I was okay with. I wasn't floored. And it was actually the first thing for me to run out of. But I think also I used a little bit more than I should have because I did, even though I only put like a little droplet on my finger and then massage it in, a little bit went a long way. So you didn't actually have to need to use a lot of it, which is kind of nice. However, I didn't find it as moisturizing and as hydrating as the Belief Moisturizing Eye Balm. I found this one to be a little bit more moisturizing. So I don't know really fully where I stand with this yet. I like the idea of the fact that it has Bakuchiol in it, which should help with the fine lines. I'm not sure if I notice a huge difference in the fine lines, but maybe I need to use it a little bit longer. So whether or not I end up, um, end up getting the full size, it's still a little bit, I'm not sure. 
I may or may not, or I might just kind of switch it up every now and then, or I might use this as a night one and then moisturizing eye balm or my Clinical Eye Lift Pro as a daytime one. Haven't really fully thought that through yet, but I mean, it is overall a nice eye cream. I just don't know that if I personally love it as much as other products I've personally used. But if you want something with Bacuccio in it and you want something that's a vegan eye cream, then yes, this is a great, great, great product. And of course, the large size is much larger than this. Now, my favorite part of the line, my absolute favorite part of the line is this here, the Bicuccio Serum itself. I redonkly love this. There's still a little bit left. And like I said, a little bit of this did go a long, long way. This itself, like that one little bit of squirt there, that'd be enough for my face and my neck. However, what I am considering though, when I, because I actually, I, <laughs> funny story. I went one day without using the Bacuccio serum because Nathaniel came by my desk and I'm pretty sure it was him. He played with some stuff while I was doing laundry on the other side of my room. <laughs> this disappeared for a day. I looked everywhere. But anyways, so I went one day without using the Bacuccio serum underneath the gel and the cream. There's a huge difference. I personally noticed a ginormous difference with how my skin felt within that one day of not using the serum. So uh, if anything, if you want to just buy one product from the PharmaRx line, guys, totally get the Bacuccio serum. I love this serum. It is fantastic. It is thicker than what I'm used to in a serum. So literally like one or two drops is enough for my entire face and then one more drop for my neck. And... I notice a difference in my smile lines. It's been, like I say, three weeks. More so on this side than this side, but I think it's because I sleep on this side, so maybe this side is a little bit deeper. Um, yeah, I'm a left side sleeper, so I think that maybe that's why this line here is a little bit deeper. I need to try sleeping on the other side. But I do notice a difference, especially like right here. That's where I noticed the biggest difference. Also, when you apply it, it just makes your skin feel like silk. It feels so good. With that said, I think I do need to be a little bit careful of where I apply it. The first week I did apply it even along my nose line area here. However, I did end up breaking out a little bit. So when I stopped using it, the breakout stopped. So I'm thinking that maybe it's just a little bit too heavy for this area. Maybe, maybe not. I'm, I mean, guys, I'm not a skincare expert. I'm just speculating because this is what I use on my face and this is what I'm noticing on my face. So take everything I say with a grain of salt. So I stopped placing it here, but I did focus it on the lines here and on my cheeks and like through here. I didn't end up getting any new pimples in my scalp line. So I don't let, yeah, so it's not like too, too, too heavy for my face in general, but it might just be a little bit here because I do have an oilier nasal area this section anyway. And then of course under here too. So I might avoid like just underneath my chin here, or maybe I was just a slob while eating that day. With that said, I didn't get any new pimples on my cheeks or anything. So I I ordered a full size of this already. I already put it in my cart. I'm so excited about the Bacuccio Serum. I love, love, love the Bacuccio Serum. Moving forward, what am I going to do? I'm getting a new toner. I'm so excited. It's supposed to come in about two weeks or so. Um, but Avon's coming out with the toner. Like I told you guys, this is not an Avon toner because Avon didn't have a toner until now. So I'm getting an Avon toner, which is also supposed to help with oiliness. So hopefully that'll help clear out this area here. If that is in fact a pimple, maybe it's a mosquito bite. I don't know. Skincare experts, you guys can tell me that. I don't know what it is. It could be a mosquito bite. It's black fly season, or it could be a pimple. I don't know, but it was really swollen, and then it's kind of like calmed down a little bit more now. Where am I going with this? Oh, yes. New toner from Avon. I'm going back to using my Dr. Belmer Sica Peptide Ampule underneath the Bacuccio Serum. For my eye cream, I am probably going to go back to using the Belief Moisturizing Eye Balm for now because A, I want to finish this up and it is a really beautiful product. And at that time, I'll decide if I want to give the Bacuccio another try or if I'm doing something else. As for day cream, that's where I'm not fully sure yet what I'm going to do. I do have a full size of the gel. I do like it for daily, but I think that if I'm going outside, 
What I will end up doing if I am going outside is either throwing on yeah the SPF 50 Daily Defense Lotion here, or if I just know I'm going to be outside all day that day anyways, I'll use one of my favorite Anew products, which is the Anew Skin Invincible Lotion, because this does have SPF 50 in it. This I've been using for years, right? Especially in the summer. Serum-wise, definitely, I'm sticking with this. I ridiculously love this serum. I am so in love with this. It's one of my new favorite skincare products. Yeah, it feels so, 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 so good. And that's that, guys. So if you have tried the Farm RX line, make sure you do let me know what's your journey been like so far. If you're interested in trying out any of these beautiful products here, make sure you do go to the description box below, click that link, and then you can find the whole line of the products on our e-store. And if you're interested in becoming a beauty boss, starting your own Avon business so you can sell Avon coast to coast all across Canada, make sure you once again go to that link, click on the link, and then click join Avon, and you can get your online business up and running in just a few minutes if you have any questions before doing that so make sure you do also reach out to me either through facebook or instagram and now i'm on pinterest don't know how to use it but i'm on pinterest now guys but you can reach out to me and i can help answer any questions that you may have talk to me i like i love talking if you can't tell already if you enjoyed this video guys make sure you give this video a big fat thumbs up and show me some love and finally guys if you're new to this channel hit that subscribe button as well as the little bell icon beside it so you never miss a video notification i do have new videos up every single week about beauty business and dance and you never want to miss one of those i love you guys i'll see you guys in the next one bye